Hey everyone, I'm back using demo and tools to learn CISSP. I'm Chen Zhang, Microsoft Azure MVP, AWS Certificate, Solution Professional. All right. Uh, I had already show you the uh, SSL TLS protocol and uh, our DigiCert public CA to make our uh, domain uh, to make our uh, SSTP VPN and build a private CA using uh, OpenSSL. Uh, then we will uh, input our SSL to our Apache server uh, to uh, build our HTTPS, uh, our private HTTPS server. Then making the uh, signature validate uh, uh, and a uh, uh, Plus a bonus, I show you how to use uh, the private key to uh, validate the Bitcoin uh, signature. Uh, today, uh, we will move to uh, another private CA. Uh, compare with the Linux uh, OBS SSL, uh, today I will show you the Active Directory. Uh, it's also a common uh, standard. Uh, popular used in uh, the company and the enterprise and uh, uh, I will show you actually I will show you the PPTP uh, VPN first uh, why I show you PPTP VPN because TPT, PPTP VPN is a uh, you know an adolescent uh, old uh, insecure uh, Technology. So, uh, I will show you PPTP VPN first. Uh, then I will uh, demo the L2TP IPsec. The important thing is IPsec. Okay. Uh, Windows Server building three different kinds of uh, VPN uh, server type. PPTP, L2TP, and SSTP. Uh, I have already demoed the SSTP in our first uh, video, and uh, this video will show you the PPTP. Let me just uh, uh, have a quick brief of what is PPTP. Uh, that's the test I copy from uh, Wikipedia. Uh, PPTP is an obsolete method for implementing a VPN and has well no security issues okay so I think uh, it's out of date but we still need to uh, get some uh, basic knowledge concept just like the encapsulation uh, use the traditional GRE uh, and the communication encryption uh, PBTP supports um, the uh, algorithm uh, MPPE uh, we can see here is the P2P encryption and the authentication part it use MS chap 2 uh, you can see MS chap 2 variant doesn't require either peer to know the plan test and does not transmit it but has been broken all right so it's Actually, truly, you know, a very old technology. I think if you if you are still using uh, PBTP VPN, I highly hope you can try to find uh, the replacement uh, backup solution to replace it. All right, and uh, the authentication encryption algorithm it use MS chip MD5. So I think this uh, format is so good just like the uh, VPN uh, technology and uh, we should know the uh, which uh, encapsulation it use uh, the port of the tunnel and the communication encryption encryption and the uh, authentication part which uh, encryption it implement I think that's uh, uh, you know the format is so good can uh, help us to uh, get a clear picture of what we are learning right 
So let's uh, switch to our uh, demo, demo environment. Okay, it's connect, and here we stop. Check, make the filter. Now we got the this information, challenge information. This is our server name. This name CISSP is our username. This is the uh, challenge hash, and this is the response hash. Okay. It. Okay, now we got the challenge and the response hash. Then we will use the tool to decrypt it. Okay. So we will move to Caddy. Okay. This is our fully uh, script uh, and uh, argument parameter. Uh, actually, it's not uh, complicated. Python and execute our script. Uh, username cissp dash c uh, dash c is the challenge hash we capture dash r uh, is the response uh, harsh we got it dash x dash p and this we just need to copy this dash x dash p uh, the location uh, user being dash d dictionary and we got our dictionary and we enter Now had to start the uh, crack process. Okay, there you go. We can see here we got the uh, password uh, eight eight. Quite simple. Okay, so that's the whole demo uh, to show you how to use the uh, Wireshark capture the uh, packet from the. Uh, PPTP VPN uh, communication and uh, uh, actually it's not the communication it's the authentication part it's use MS chop 2 then we kept the uh, packet of the MS chop 2 uh, the uh, two hashes uh, one is the response uh, one is another is the challenge then we use the uh, this tool chop 2 slip to decrypt the password uh, uh, here, because I said the very uh, easy password, so it's very quick to make the uh, decryption. If some password is complicated, uh, maybe need a long time, but I think it's not safe once we got the hash and the algorithm to decrypt it. So next part, we will move to the L2TP. Okay, thank you so much.